everybody, Dizzy Crowder here with another haul. This was my second purchase from the third anniversary of Crafters TV being on YouTube. Uh, it's only a little one, but I thought I'd still share it with you. And without further ado, let's dive into it. So the first thing we've got is this little leaflet to tell us what's coming up um, in, on Crafters TV. So we've got Sarah there, Crafters TV is free um, and then it's telling you what makes it special and it's telling you a bit about the presenters and stuff. So that's nice, I like when you get these little tiny forms coming in and giving us a little bit of what's going on. Um, then we've got our free gift which if you spent over £10 you've got a free gift. I'll be re-gifting this to my sister-in-law because I already got this in my previous haul. Then we got some goodies. Um, basically you bought this, um, what's it called? Uh, you bought this storybook die, I want to call it Book of Tricks because the Glitter Girls, if any of you ever remember her, I, well then it was two ladies, um, I used to make the Book of Tricks books all the time and this is very very resemblance of that, so I did enjoy used to making them, so this will make it a lot easier and much quicker than me doing all the cutouts, uh, so you bought that and you actually got these items free so the first one is believe in yourself and it's a lovely unicorn stamp um, I feel like it really do nice with the watercolors all the spectrum to our pens got some nice clouds in there uh, oh it actually comes with a die as well which I didn't actually realize and then we've got a couple of sentiments have a magical day and believe in yourself so that would be really good for somebody who is going for some tests, maybe a car test or exams or something, or a new job. It would be really cool, a girly one. And then you've got this Buds and Blooms stamp and die set again. Now again, I didn't realise this was a stamp and die set, so we'll make this lovely wreath with lots of flowers. So, and it's quite big set actually so you've got these lovely florals here and then you've got the dice to cut them out so that's fantastic I cannot wait to have a go at that and then we've got this ornate butterflies now this is a, just a stamp on this one and it's a nice big circle stamp I think unless it's just quarters I think it's one big stamp it's hard to tell on there but I'm guessing so and then we've got a couple of sentiments it says if nothing ever changed there would be no butterflies so that's absolutely lovely and you can see it must be um, one where you layer the stamps up because it's showing you here so it might be a layering stamp and then I got just some consumables of the white multi-purpose card because this is what I use a lot and this they had this on offer I think it was the two packs for £7 or something daft like that really and then the last item is this I'll just get it out I will definitely be saving that bubble wrap. So it's the Pen and Ink Palace. Now I thought I'd have to build this myself, so I'm quite pleased that I don't have to. And just take this off so we can show you. So it's much smaller than I thought it was going to be, but they do actually do a bigger one. But I literally just wanted this. So, as you all know, I do nails and my other half, I don't know if you can see this grey board here, he's managed to build me this so it can go over the vent. So when I'm crafting, I can actually use this table now, which makes my life a lot easier. But that said, where I used to do my crafting on the other worktop, all my ink pads and everything are there. So I thought, well, this would be perfect to sit on here and I can just pop it onto this table easy enough. And you can take these out. They've got like this little 
anything to stop anything falling back as well um, and I just thought it'd be handy to when I'm doing a project to put the ink pads or pens and sprays anything that I'm going to be using on that project on here which will then help keep my table tidy because as you all know we all end up crafting in this little tiny area I've, I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that um, so yes yeah, so I've really impressed I don't actually have to build it and looking at the size I think I may have been able to get away with this slightly larger one but that said I can always purchase it again and we could have two at the side but I feel like this would hold quite enough for me anyway so that was my haul guys I know it was only tiny but I just wanted to share with you anyway what did you guys buy did you get loads of stuff on the third anniversary I know I'm excited for the birthday uh, launches next month so because last year I went a little bit crazy I won't be going that crazy this time but um, I definitely will be purchasing some stuff because we just I just love crafters companion so I'd like to say thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it been loving all your comments and people giving me the thumbs up really do appreciate it and hopefully I shall catch you in the next video bye